slide. There we go. We are live. So good evening, everyone out there on the My BC Consulting Facebook page. It is Tuesday night at seven o'clock. So that means that I am chatting with another author that I have found. So the story behind how I met Gloria Sampson and her husband, Rick, was two months ago, I think it was in August. Oh my gosh, it's already been August. So it's three I don't, months ago. Isn't that uh, bizarre? I went out to the Langley, in Langley, the Ladner Village Market for the first time in my life, I am sad to say, and I've lived here mm. since 1976, um, to see what it was all about, because this girl loves a good farmer's market. And I was wandering around connecting small business because that's what I love and learning about the different businesses that are out there. And I happened to come across your tent with um, Gloria. What are some of the things that you sell other than we're going to get into your book in a second? I do glass. I paint on glass balls for Christmas, mm -hmm. Christmas ornaments and uh, just critters, just critters. And I personalize them on the back and I'm selling them this year at the East Delta Hall on number okay. 10. They're open this year. And I've, and I've made some some my mice and, okay. they're in copper, copper shoes with um, And the, the mice are made out of uh, wool and cashmere. That was that was fun. So and I've done Christmas cards. Yeah. So a variety of things. So that attracted me to your table because I love arts and crafts and very unique. And you had some very unique pieces. Thank you. But then I saw this big stack of children's books with a very unique title. Thank you. And a very unique story throughout it. So mm -hmm. why don't you, first of all, let us know where you live. I don't know if you do live in Ladner or whatever yes, you I live. Do. Yes, we do. And what prompted you to take pen to paper and write your book? It's, it's, uh, it, I've drawn for years. I've drawn for years. And, um, and our son had to go in the hospital in Victoria. So uh, it was drab, drab, drab. So I got permission to paint on the windows in the children's oh. ward and posters and did that while our son was in there. And, um, and he's a banker. So then I went to the banks and uh finally did vancouver airport for years painting to that christmas yeah. uh, uh so scene. you're talking on the outside of the glass on, yeah. on, on yeah. the inside, oh. inside. Well, yeah. well inside which you see on the right. outside yeah. it, it's christmas right. scenes that you know that businesses have uh but uh in the bank uh, we were having our windows done and they just looked ordinary and then uh, she was doing the hospital so uh. i said well why don't you do our bank? And then, and then everybody commented. And as a matter of fact, a couple other competitor banks came over and said, can, can we get your wife to do it? And I said, well, that's up to her. And, yeah. and she did that. And, and then she went on and on and on. Well, because, because they, they, they made you go off oh, or wow, you know, which yeah. is just not, so a lot of them were doing the stencils mm. yeah. and mine's all freehand. Yeah. So, yeah. I have never met, I've admired a lot. Um, it stops me in my tracks. It's some of the, uh, you know, the artwork that's on, on windows and businesses. Oh, and yes. if, you, if you saw my home before we came on Zoom, I let you know my house is full of art, very eclectic art that I've met the person mm -hmm. connected to the piece of art in my travels around this world. So you have this children's book and what is the name of your children's book? It's called Pages Mouse Tales of ABCs. And let's see the cover. Oh my gosh, adorable. And and that and that's it's that's T. That's for Tage. And she right. lived, her family lives in a teacup. And where did the name the first name come from? Like where did that, that invented name? I think I think well no, it's your granddaughter. My granddaughter, yeah, my granddaughter and and is and I think her dad's family irish. irish okay so yeah tage it's tage maxwell tage morgan maxwell yeah. you know so yeah and she's a beauty she's a beauty sounds like a soap opera name sounds like a it name does, does good. Soap yeah <laughs> yeah she's already 10 years old so you know it's just like poop that's it's gone you know but uh she's beautiful she's beautiful and, and um yep had to be had to be written 
had to be written. It just, it was one day, you know, like, I mean, I've been doing the cra the Christmas craft fair at East Delta Hall a lot. And my, my customers are saying, you should write a children's book. And I said, ah, you know, I don't do stuff like that. And and I was having a nap one day, I woke up and, and I had this dream of a little mouse, that little boy mouse sitting on the grass and there was things falling all around him. Okay. And there was balls and, and baskets and beds and blueberries and everything. And that was the start of Bobby Mouse. Okay. And that was my first story. So, so it just sort of, you know, how things work. It just, uh, I did one for each. I did, you know, all the alphabet and that. And each little mouse has got their own story. And okay. it's, and it's a, a learning story. And it's got there's there's the, like i've drawn each picture amazing it's got that's the that's the main one you have to hold it up yeah. yeah oh be, oh beautiful yeah. so yeah see you, you can see the illustration right and, and, uh, and un, un, unlike a lot of children's books the, the story is a full page right which right. really which really leads into parents being able to uh read it to their children every night and then do one or two stories and show them an illustration before they go to sleep they, they see this vivid illustration and yeah so and, so this, yeah. this, so, is, like, this so, is fascinating yeah. because there's something that um um many out there know but you don't know um i'm the creator and the co-founder of the world's only gratitude and appreciation summit mm -hmm. and we had our summit a couple of weeks ago and one julie boyer was instructing us on different methodologies of gratitude. So many people mm -hmm. think you just got to write three sentences or things when you wake mm -hmm. up before you go to bed. And she does the ABCs of gratitude oh. where you, I, I could see a parent tying these two together, like read the story beginning with the A mm -hmm. and then what are say five A things that have happened to you? Like yes. uh, my friend gave yes. me an apple today. Yeah. I, I sat, um in for somebody who's absent today you know what uh, I mean? that's perfect yeah oh, yeah that's amazing yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so so the book could last a, a whole month for a parent to, to yeah. read to the child yes yeah well yeah. 26 or, or you could do it a week too start with one story at the beginning yeah. of the week yeah. 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 yeah yeah like henrietta mouse collects hats yeah you know yeah. so and i don't know yeah. if you i don't know if you can notice her there but uh it's beautiful uh, for every for every letter this is n Nathaniel. So, so every 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 word that starts with an N is the N is bolded. So this this helps mm -hmm. uh, with the, I think with the parents when they're reading it and, yes. and when the child starts reading yeah. to emphasize what the sound of that word is. Mm -hmm. The N goes with Nathaniel mm -hmm. or never or, or yeah. not or whatever it may be. But. Yeah, yeah. So Gloria, how about you read the back of the book so people okay. can understand what's through the pages. Okay. It says, come, let's join our little cage mouse and wander around mouse town. We'll meet her little mouse friends and they will tell you their stories using the alphabet and having fun. Beautiful. You know what? Because my name begins with J, okay. would you mind opening up the book and finding who J oh, is? Of course, of course. And maybe read a, a paragraph or two of uh, Jay's story. Okay. Uh, Jay, Jay is for uh, Jenny, which is our daughter's. Uh, Jen our daughter's name is Jennifer. So. Okay. Okay. So so I so I have to take my glasses off for this. That's okay. It was a very nice day in June. Our little Jenny Mouse had been busy in the, her kitchen. She was making strawberry jam and blueberry jelly. Yum. She looked all through her cooking journals to find just the right recipe. There will be a jam and jelly contest in Mouse Town Country Fair tomorrow and Jenny is going to try to win the big blue ribbon. What fun. She was happy that she had found a big strawberry and a big blueberry on the grass. She only needed one of each because she was so small and now they had been made into delicious jam and jelly and in jars. She had just left them to cool for tomorrow's journey to town. She needed she needed to be rested so she washed her little mouse face, got into her jammies and jumped into her little bed. She was soon sleeping, dreaming of tomorrow. 
When the morning came, she packed her little jars into the little wagon and she was on her way, wearing her very special blueberry colored hat and her strawberry colored dress. She was so happy, she did a little jiggly dance before she left. Once she was on the fairgrounds, she found out where to go for the contest. She set all her jars on her table, opened them, put a little spoon next to them just for when the judge was coming by for the taste test. There was a lot to taste. The judge was a big mouse. He was very jolly and he joked with the other mice. After walk, walking all around the other tables, he walked back to Jenny Mouse's table and smiled as he put a big blue ribbon on her jars. She jumped for joy. Now she could let the other mice taste her wedding jams and jellies. What a day. I am in jubilation that you shared that with me today. I would almost, um, my teacher hat with having grandchildren, mm -hmm. almost get the children to count the number of J words. Yes, yeah. Um, um, and also, there's so much good stuff in there about, so what do you think Jenny did later? And yes, you know, yeah, what's yeah. the next, yeah. well, like, what's her next story? That's beautiful. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we have uh, several, uh, well, we have a, a niece who is a school teacher and she, she read it and got took one because she she does the, the younger kids, so she wanted and, and uh, my wife donated one to uh, the two uh, two Ladner elementary schools for their library and mm -hmm. they they loved it. And some other school teachers actually came around at the Ladner Village Market and they they were they were reading it and they, and they said the same thing that it would be great for the younger kids mm -hmm. and and uh, even school school teachers you know to use it for. Because there's and, and, be, and because of what you just said, and because there's right. several ways you can you you could use it. So yeah. Well, and and I even think that even for an occupational therapist, like in a hospital, say for a mm -hmm. stroke victim who has mm -hmm. to learn how to talk again, or a speech right. therapist, right. Yep. to be able to have a gentle story mm -hmm. to read versus oh here's a bunch of flashcards with a bunch mm -hmm. of J words on yeah. them, yeah. and getting at that sense of um, of the letters, it's just absolutely beautiful. So it begs the question, is um, there gonna be a numbers book maybe? A one, two, three? <laughs> that, that's exactly what I, I'm thinking of, yes. Well, she actually, sorry, I, uh, but she actually uh, uh, wrote one, uh, one story to do with numbers. Right. And, and then, then COVID hit and everything else. And uh, because, you know, as far as, because this book uh, came out in early 2020 and then she had okay. book signings lined up and the, the, the Ladner, uh, the, 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 the Ladner Villa market. Hold oh, on. Just a sec here, I, I got a problem here. Nope. Right, can you hear me? I can hear you, you're, you're no. still fine no. on my end. Okay, hold on. Oh, you're on mute now, so you need to unmute yourself in the bottom right-hand corner. There's a little microphone that you put a little X on it. There we go. There, now you can talk. Can you hear me? Uh, no. You're loud and clear. Battery medium. Okay, that's, you know what? This is real life, which is fine. You're, you're good. There it is. Oh, good. Okay. Well, yeah, I think some sometimes we have a Bose oh, okay. Bluetooth speaker, and all of a sudden it just it goes on when you don't want it to go on, and then just clicks off sometimes. That just late, eh? Sorry, where where were we? Uh, yeah. We were talking about a numbers book. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'd love to. I would love yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyhow, like I said, then COVID hit, and uh, she had book signings, and uh, everything was canceled. and the Ladner Market, and uh, the uh, Delta Hall. Everything was canceled in 2020. Right. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, there, and uh, and uh, so there, there's no use going ahead, but you know, because publishing costs, you know, even mm -hmm. self-publishing self-publishing costs are are reasonably high. They're you know, uh, the end the end product is is great, and like Freeze and Press did a great uh, job job with it, uh, but uh, yeah, but you know uh, so. I I'd also see, heavens to Betsy, but to take the book apart because of the artwork that's in there and frame your art that's in that book. Uh, if you, you could. Or do you sell the prints um, that you are the artist? I never thought about it. Never thought about it. 
I, I think mean, that would be so special because it's generic. It's as they call it in the world, gender fluid, that it, mm -hmm. if you put those pictures in a baby's room, it would be it, beautiful. It could be. It could uh, be. That, that's a good idea. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or if, yeah. if your child's name was Jenny, taking out the story about Jenny and the picture and framing those two and putting that on the wall would be kind of cool. Right. Right. Like here, here is Sally Mouse. Sa Sally Mouse, that's her, that's yeah. my friend Sally who cooks. Oh, I love it. Well, Jeanette yeah, cooks too. The stove. The old it's blue the stove. Old blue stove. Yes. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. And you've you you're the artist of every single picture. Oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Wow. I wouldn't let anybody know. Well, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the minute detail on, on yes. top of the, at the top of the stove. It says Sally's. Sunshine absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Thank so, you. so the whole the detail and and her uh, her Christmas balls are, you know, they're the size of a Christmas ball, and they're intricate little things. But I yes. I don't know. I couldn't even see to do it. Never mind. <laughs> so got... Well, you've seen the Christmas balls, so you you know. Yeah. Yes, I have. And Thank so, you. where can people find your book? Do you have a um, website? Yeah. Well, I'll be at East Delta Hall this year. Like I said, on Number Ten Highway. Okay. Um, what day of the week are you there? Oh, uh, heavens. Lord? I think it starts. It's November 10th, 11th. 12th, 13th. 10th, okay. and then the 11th is uh, whatever. I think it was Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, right. Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. And okay. 11th, of course, is a holiday yeah. as well. So, yeah. yeah. But also, she, she they can go to Tages Most Tales. Okay. Dot com. Mm -hmm. it, it's just like, like the, uh, the, uh, the title is. Mm -hmm. and, and Tales is. Uh, and this this was Friesen's idea rather than T A L E S because of the mice they, they suggested it would be tails would be mm -hmm. T A I L S. They helped a lot. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Makes yeah. <laughs> to me. Yeah. So yeah. So then there, there's uh, so in that website there's buttons to buy off of Amazon and okay. uh, Canada or U S or mm -hmm. um, yes and uh, and uh, and uh, and they could go to uh, buy directly if they live in you know in british columbia and uh or elsewhere they they, they could actually email gloria gj sampson okay at outlook.com and we could send a book uh, mm -hmm. directly to them or, or or if they live around here they could come and mm -hmm. get it here okay. because we have some in, we have some in the house good, uh, good to know so i'd like to wrap this up with two questions um the first question is who are three people that should be having this book in their library mm -hmm. and who could benefit giving it as a gift who who are your, your your people that need to have this book in their hands grandmas oh okay <laughs> love that grandmas yeah 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 yeah, yeah. grandmas and grand grandfathers uh, yeah. okay. a lot of them yeah. bought the book and uh, and actually and, and there's a there, there's a soft cover book as well oh and, and it's the same thing other than a soft cover Easier to, but, but, to mail, but, but some some of them were uh, at 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 the Ludner Village Market. They were humming and hum because 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 a hardcover book uh, because of the hardcover it's bigger and right. it's heavier, right? Right. So then they say, well, I got I'm sending it to Ontario. I'm sending mm -hmm. it to London, England, or whatever it is. So, yes. And I yeah. said, well, that buy a soft cover. Yes. It's yeah. a little bit uh, less expensive, but, but but more importantly, it's it's smaller. It goes in a smaller envelope and it's lighter. So then. Yeah. So I can the, almost see buying two. The hardcover is kind of the keepsake. That's right. That's yes, it. Yeah. That's and the it. other one, the soft cover, you can kind of maybe beat up and write your own yes. little stories in there yeah. or make it yeah. a picture book or sticker book. Yeah. And another idea that just came to me um, as well is as the child gets older, carrying it with them. Mm -hmm. And if they happen to meet a Jenny and have the Jenny sign it, the Jenny. Yes. Page, and yes. we're like Henrietta. If you meet a Henrietta, get yes. a Henrietta. Yes. It's not like a little bit of like a year before. Yeah. And yeah. I and actually I had a couple of ladies come by and their grandchildren was called Violet. Of course, there's a violet in here with a violin. You know. So yeah. So, so, yeah. so they and now to wrap it up, I'd love to ask this question. What is your words of wisdom to somebody who is Let's call it later in life mm -hmm. to like I am. write a book. Yeah. Like to write a book. Oh, here's wisdom. Just, just it just 
I don't know. Like, I don't know how it happened, really. It was, it was a nap, and, and I had to get up and write down the story. Like, where that came from, who knows, you know? I'll, I'll, give, I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay. okay. It is uh, because of what Gloria did. Gloria did. And then I, I did the, uh, she did all, of, I have no creativity as far as that goes, uh, of, of, of what she did the, for, for the storybook. But, be, but I did the, I put it on the computer and did the editing. Uh, mm, and then okay. uh, the pre-editing, I'll say. And, and then I, uh, I was the one that uh, did the work with Freezen Press. Okay. Uh, and, and sent them the, the files and then did the PDF files to get the print ready files and, and all that stuff. So having done that, uh, I, I, I've been doing Ancestry for about 15 years uh, yeah. uh, after I retired and uh, then the winters and so, and, and somebody else got me onto it. So I've got uh, I've, I've, all my ancestors from England, but, and then um, as well, uh, so I, I've done a lot of the answer I said, but I was thinking, you know, uh, when I pass away, I, I've got I got some of my ancestors traced back to 1600s. Uh, then it, it could all just die with me, right? Yeah, it's on my computer and all that stuff. But so, what, what's the best way of preserving something? Yeah. So so like, yeah. It, it's, it's yeah. so yeah. what I did. Uh, the, the, uh, so I'm I'm working on two others, but uh, what I did is is. is uh, because uh, uh, it's uh, shorter, is it, I did it on just my life uh, up to, up okay. to a, a year ago, yeah. including my, obviously all my brothers and siblings and all and, and photos from when I was uh, we're all three years old and that sort of thing, and uh, and so so he he so, helped so, so, he helped so, a yeah, lot. so so but and that I, because I did this I was able to do everything and, mm. and, and do the print ready file and just give it to somebody to just to print the book. Yeah, and, right. and so that was very that was inexpensive compared to do, doing this, obviously. But yeah. and, and and my book's not for sale. But all I'm all it's a long story to to let you know. Everybody's got something in here, whether from the things that they did uh, through life, their uh, what what their some of their parents did or or, or children did or whatever it may be. Yeah, their tra got travels. A story. Or, or, or their, right. their work, whatever their work was. And somebody's got, if you really think about it, just go on your computer and start putting your thoughts on it. Because yeah. I, yeah. I was lucky enough to grow up in, uh, I was born in 1945. Oh, and and, and I, was one, I was one of seven children. And, we, and we, we moved from Vancouver out to Surrey, uh, to Wally area in Surrey. And, and, uh, and, and, and that was like going out into the country. I was only three years old. But there's only 20, believe it, in Surrey there at that time, there's 20,000 people in all of Surrey. So, so uh, I was able to grow up at a time when kids could just be kids. You get up at five, you know, when you're five years old, you go out and you took off out into the, oh, then you came back for lunch. And so I wanted to get all this and the things that I did as a kid, I wanted to get all this down uh, on, in, a, in, in, a, in a book for my children and grandchildren that sort of thing carry on so anyhow uh again every everybody that's the words of wisdom is you, you got whether you think it or not i i wouldn't have thought of this and unless Gloria did this i wouldn't have even thought of doing that yeah. well but yeah, most so. but all my paintings and everything everything is whimsical right like like it has to give you a, a joy it has to give you a joy and, and, you know, for the mums or the grandmas or the grandpas to sit down and, and read a story, you know, and to be able to look at the, look at the, this is Henry Etta. Oh, she's quite proper. She's yes, she is. She's a proper little mouse. Yes, and yeah. Henry Etta loves honey in her tea, don't you know? Oh, you know, and she's, and she's got hollyhocks all around, uh, hollyhocks all around her home. You know, so it's you know everything's fun. Everything's fun. I and love it, that, and that's a perfect place to leave it off. I'll need to grab one of the books because I want to know the rest of the Henrietta story. Oh and yes. I want to know what the M for my last name and my middle initial is Y. So I need to grab the book to oh, find out. You you have to see why. Oh, okay. Oh, it's look at. Who's why? Oh, Yolanda. Oh, no, yours. 
And oh, yes. yes. He built her house out of yo-yos. Very yes. industrious. Uh, what color are they? They are yellow. Yellow so, yo-yos. Know, so it's, you know, it's it, they're all fun. They're all fun stories. So well, I'm, I'm hoping people like them. I know I was taken with it and wanted to help you. So thank you so much, Gloria and Rick Sampson, for being with me tonight. By the way, You're folks, welcome. this is their very first Zoom in their whole entire life. Yes. So yes. I am quite honored that you took the time to share your incredible story with me. Tonight. Thank you very much. Afterwards, in the comments, I will put Gloria's website down. I think it's the perfect book for Christmas giving and easy yes. shipping anywhere in the world. Lots of possibilities um, and a great book to tuck in with your kids, grandkids, yeah. adopted new kids, babies, foster new kids. Babies. Yep. Grab a bunch of kids and yes. sit down and read because you know what? When you read, your mind, body, and soul goes to places that you've never been. Oh, yes. So, yes. once again, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. And thank and you. Thank you for uh, you your time and, uh, be, and, and for caring about uh, people like this. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you.